This is BVM apneic patient. I'm going to start out with standard precautions, making sure that the scene is safe, the seam seems to be safe. We're going to go up to our victim, we're going to tap and shout, sir, sir open your eyes, sir wake up, he's not responding. I'll go ahead and do a trap squeeze, no response. I'm an unresponsive patient, could you call ALS and get me an AED? Then I will check pulse and breathing. I'm checking the pulse at the carotid side as this is a patient greater than a year of age. I'm checking, putting my two fingers lateral to the thyroid cartilage, inferior to the angle of the jaw. I'm checking pulse and breathing for five to 10 seconds. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. The patient has a weak pulse, but no breathing. Now I'm gonna go up to the head. I'm gonna open the area with the head, tilt, chin, lift. I see vomitus in the mouth, and I'm gonna to prepare to suction. So here's my suction machine. We're gonna hook the tubing up to here. We're gonna hook our rigid tip suction catheter to the other end of it. Now I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna test it, putting my thumb over the fenestration to create suction. I'm gonna open the mouth. I'm going in without suction. I'm gonna place this catheter no further than the base of the tongue. Then I will start suctioning. I could go side to side. I could go in a circular motion for no longer than 15 seconds. The mouth and the oral pharynx are now clear. I'm gonna take my OPA. I'm going to reopen the airway. Seems to be clear. I'm gonna measure from the front teeth to the angle of the jaw. I'm going to use my cross finger technique, index, thumb over index. I'm going in with the OPA inverted. As soon as I hit the soft palate, which you'll feel a decrease in resistance, I'll rotate that 180 degrees. The flange should rest on the teeth or the lips. Then I'm going to grab my BVM. And we're going to place this bridge of the nose to the cleft of the chin, clearing the flange. You'll notice that I'm using my non-dominant hand to secure the mass to the face and my dominant hand to squeeze the bag. Then we're going to give it a squeeze. After the first ventilation, we're going to deliver ventilations one breath every five to six seconds. I'll do one every five. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Squeeze. One, one thousand. Two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Squeeze, assuring that you get adequate chest rise. Each ventilation is delivered over one second. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Squeeze. Two minutes have passed. I will recheck the pulse. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. 5, 1,000. The patient still has a weak pulse and no breathing. Now I'm going to hook this BVM up to oxygen. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll turn this on. We'll dial our flow rate to 15 liters per minute, which I don't know if you can see on the dial. I think you can. Good. We'll go back up to the patient. We're going to reopen the airway, and then we're going to ventilate. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Ventilate. We're delivering adequate volume with each ventilation. I know that because I'm seeing appropriate chest rise.